So hey guys, welcome to my channel. So sorry if the lighting it keeps going in and out because I'm like filming with natural lighting. But anyway, so I basically made this video um, for beauties on a budget because sometimes everybody don't have the money to go buy all those expensive products. So um, basically, with this video, you can still buy cheaper products, um, save more money, and still look good. So this is more like a natural light. Well, not natural, like a more like sultry like affordable look so have like nude lips and then like a like a light natural eye so all right stay tuned if you want to get this look okay so this is a NYX eyebrow gel and espresso and I use this little thing every day believe it or not to me it's kind of compared to the Anastasia um, pomade it works really really good um, this video, I'm gonna more so just, I'm just showing you the products. I'm not necessarily doing a tutorial to teach you how to do it. Um, but right here, I'm just filling in my eyebrows with the eyebrow gel just to let you guys know how it's gonna like come out and that you can still get the same look basically. I believe this product runs you about $6.99. I got it from Ulta, but you can order it from online too because it's always kind of sold out. So you can order it and it's still the same price. And I believe Ulta has like buy one get one half off price. So that's always a good thing too. So pretty cheap. This right here is the LA Girl um, Concealers. The first one I'm going to use is Fawn on my eyebrows just because I don't want uh, too much of a bright look. I'm not really going for the highlighted look on my eyebrows. I'm just going under and just carving out the brows just to make it a little more neat. So these concealers will run you about $2.99 to $5 depending on where you get them from. A lot of people compare them to the Pro Longwear concealer from MAC, which they are pretty good just like the Pro Longwear. Um, I kind of use these on a daily, but when, I, when I'm feeling like using them, I will use them. So they are pretty good. So these are the Maybelline Fit Me foundations in the matte one. Um, they do have a dewy one as well. I did get two colors and mix them together because either one is too red and one is too yellow. So I mixed both of them to get my um, shade. And these babies are $6.99. I got these at Walmart. Again, this is the LA Girl Concealer. Um, I'm just highlighting with this color. I believe this color is cool tan. If I'm wrong, I will put it in the description box. box. But I'm just going in like a V shape, going on my chin and my nose area. You know, the usual. Um, I'm going pretty fast because I do have a video on this. And then this one is called Dark Cocoa, I think. Um, I'm going to contour with this one. I just thought about it. I did not use a um, affordable sponge in this video, but they do have a real technique sponge. I believe it's like $6.99 at Walmart. It works just as good as the Beauty Blender because I do have one. So they work just almost identical, like the same. And y'all know I'm always talking about blending. So here it goes. I'm always blending, then switching the brushes, then blending again. So this is what I will be doing. Told you, see? Switching the brushes. It's because I have to blend out my contour with a different brush. I cannot help that. And these brushes are actually affordable too. They're at the Morphe site, so go check them out. Yes, yeah, so I'm still blending. You gotta blend, you have to blend. That's just the number one rule. You better, you better blend that highlight. No, I'm just kidding y'all, but I'm serious in a way. So make sure you blend it out. So here I'm gonna use the Airspun and the banana powder. I'm gonna mix them together because uh, the Airspun didn't work for me by itself, but the Airspun is about $5 and the banana powder is about $12. I got it at makeupmania.com. Sorry, and then the airspun was from Walmart. So this is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I really like this thing. I actually use it in my freelance kit. It's really, really good. Um, 
So the colors I'm using is on the back. If you look on the back, I'm using number seven and number eight, which is sculpt and hollow. I didn't um, use them both together. I did them separately. Um, it's not really to get more like a contoured look. It's just basically to give me a little bit color back in my skin and then kind of to chisel the cheeks out because I believe those colors are a little bit more on the cool side. Correct me if I'm wrong though. So here, just putting the other color on top. And then I'm just blending out the highlight and the contour kind of together just to kind of make everything transition very smoothly. And then next I'm going in with another color I think it's called tan. I'm going to go on my nose with it. This color seems to appear on me a little more warm on the nose so I love my nose to be more contoured so yeah I'm using this color to contour my nose out because it brings it out a little more, slims it down. Then here, this is the NYX um, blush. It's like an orange-like color. And sorry guys, I did get these from Ulta as well, the contour kit and the blush. I get a lot of my NYX products from Ulta. So here I'm just popping it on the cheeks. You don't need a lot because it's very orange, but it looks really, really good and um, natural on the cheeks. Then this, y'all know my Forever 21 illuminator or highlighter, whatever you wanna call it. This one is probably about, I think this one was about $5.99. And then I forgot to mention that the contour kit was $25 and the blush was $6.99 at Ulta. And then here I'm just popping the highlight on the cheeks and everywhere where I want to be bright, where I want to look like a disco ball at. So that's where I'm going to pop it. So all the eyeshadows I'm going to use, um, they're all NYX, they're all at Ulta, and they're all about $3.49. So this color is like an orange color. I'm using this as a transitional color on the crease area. Then I'm going to take like a soft brown and put that in the crease as well. Just to kind of diffuse the orange so it won't be so much. So very affordable, but you can still get the same looks. This one is like a champagne pink color. I'm just popping it on the lid and to the inner corner basically just slapping it on there this look is very beginner friendly so anybody can do this and still look good so yes and then this is the NYC liquid liner oh luckily I didn't say NYX cuz I always get them confused but I got this at Walmart I think it was probably like a dollar ninety nine so it's very very cheap I actually prefer cheap um, liquid liners because they work so good. You can always either use this one or the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one is a dollar and it works amazing as well too. This is the Maybelline Chaotic um, Mascara. But you can use any kind of mascara because I'm going to slap on falsies anyways. But this one's really good. As you can see, I barely have any lashes. So uh, a sister needs some uh, mascara. So yes. And then this is the Jordana um, Press Powder. I'm going to use this to um, smooth everything out because this one's kind of like the same as my skin tone. It's actually pretty good. Um, this one, I got this at like a, I think at my local grocery store. It was like $1.99. This is the brown pencil from NYX again. I'm just putting it all over my lips to kind of like line them. I'm kind of overlining at the top to give my lips more like a pouty, bigger look. This is the NYX, um, I think it's the Matte Lip Butter. It's This one's more like a natural color. These are about $6.99 too. And then I think the buy one, get the second one half off does apply to this at Ulta. And then next, I'm going to use the suede ones. These are very, very matte. I love this one. I'm just popping like a pink color on top of it just to make my lips look a little more fuller. And guess what? They last a long time. Here, this is the um, L'Oreal Inflatable Spray. It's at Walmart for like $12.99. Then right here, I'm going to serve some face. I'm going to try and get sexy. Well, y'all know I'm still trying to get used to that. But here you go. I hope this video was very informative. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Thanks, guys.